Need for Speed Payback has some day one improvements that you'll definitely want to nab in this first patch. The deluxe edition of Need for Speed Payback is out today, and while reviews very slowly roll in, players who go in fairly blind can improve their experience somewhat with this patch. The full notes for the patch which is out now on the PC version are listed on the game's website, but we've also collected them here to save you a click. Here are the notes for Patch 1 Improved Game Performance During the Event Solar Sprint The Event Aki Kimura The Drift King will no longer sometimes cause a game crash The Silver Canyon Getaway Event will no longer cause a crash after the first spike strip Improved performance within ranked speed list fixed a crash that would sometimes occur during initial loading The game will no longer sometimes crash during the purchase of shipments on a non-English language Repeating the event drifting the block several times will no longer cause the game to crash fixed a crash that occurred after the race between Mac and Jess to the air field the game will no longer hang on a black screen at the start of the third section of the convoy mission while playing through the highway heist mission the game will no longer hang after the get to the rendezvous section all checkpoints during the event safety last will now award bonus time improved cop ai within the failed heist mission the cavalry event now has the correct car requirements assigned to it the objective in the disconnect event has been changed to reach the finish line cops now take more damage when ramming them from behind at high speed chevrons are now correctly placed during the event underground soldier sabotage you will no longer receive the checkpoint missed message during the event down forest drift trial when going through a checkpoint AI drivers will no longer drive straight into a wall when starting the outlaws rush the helicopter in the skyhammer event now flies correctly the AI drivers during the outlaws rush event will now drive the correct route the mini map during the outlaws rush event will now display correctly the voiceover that takes place at the end of the racers revenge mission will no longer repeat itself improved off-road handling of the BMW X6M fixed an audio issue where the the sound of an impact would not always be heard when crashing into barriers cars will no longer get stuck when collecting one of the billboards in the desert courier missions will now display completion time instead of track time on the outro screen downtown escape can no longer be started a street away from its intended position traffic vehicles have been sent back to driving school and will no longer attempt to perform an illegal turn improved AI of cops during pursuits tuned the AI hard difficulty in the event junkyard Solomon hard difficulty grass and bush debris will no longer duplicate the wheels on the 1969 Dodge Charger no longer protrude through the fenders when steering left or right multiple events now have the correct color of event icons displayed tuned hard difficulty on various events it's now harder good luck the gearbox roaming racer has gone back to driving school and will no longer crash into rocks while driving around fortune valley if you challenge the gearbox roaming racer at the tunnel entrance you will no longer start the race directly in front of a pillar even if you lose to the first race against Rav. You will now receive a speed card the on-screen text displayed during the live tuning tutorial now displays correctly sparks will no longer appear from the front wheels when performing sharp turns on asphalt surfaces the AI will no longer take the wrong turn 1.27 kilometers away from the objective during the canyon brawl event you can now paint derelict cars that have been purchased from a dealership the AI has been improved in the Holtzman the coming storm event the body panels on the Volkswagen Beetle derelict now display correctly derelict wheels will no longer glow a strange orange Glow when out in the world awaiting collection fixed a visual issue on the suspension and brakes of the Chevrolet Bel Air derelict entering a part shop while in hood or bonnet cam will no longer create a camera spin around the shop corrected an issue on the Mazda MX-5 when using a ghost branded diffuser that caused nitrous to appear in the wrong place fixed an issue that was blocking decals from being applied to the front of the Dodge Charger 1969 failing to make the jump at the end of the hairpin dragging event will no longer result in your car being placed back on the road upside down the last two checks Points from the flashbang speed run are now activity checkpoints instead of race ones the character model no longer clips through the driver's seat of any of the 1965 Ford Mustang derelict super builds the tires on the Ford Roadster no longer get shiny and black when they get dirty the game will now save before the final cinematic resulting in having to repeat the race against Lena in the outlaws rush starting a race in the Chevrolet C10 pickup while in bonnet cam will no longer place the camera behind the windscreen the Ford Mustang 1965 super derelict build of the race class will now look different to the standard race build poker chips and billboards are now marked as completed on both the mini map and the map music now plays correctly during the final credits drag specific rims the alchemist are now available for other car classes the camera will no longer shake when exiting the garage numerous audio fixes multiple UI fixes various localization issues have been fixed various improvements to character animation numerous minor fixes tweaks and improvements if you're not keen on the deluxe edition need for speed payback launches at the end of this week on November 10 for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Sometimes we include links to online retail stores. If you click on one and make a purchase we may receive a small commission. 
For more information, go here.